All right, welcome back. So today we are on the bench, got a battery pack to fix from this. It ripped off one of the balance port wires. So I taped it up to finish the run with this. It was a bad day out with this and I pretty much uh, gave up on this wide X-Max. So I grabbed the original shocks from this X-Max. We're gonna go ahead, get it torn down and uh, get the bent shocks out of here. I'm probably gonna replace both rear and then we're gonna check the front um, to make sure that none of those got bent. It looks like it's just one. Um, I'm gonna look into why it overextended on that side, um, upside down landing, and uh, what caused it to, uh, to bend a shock, considering I've never bent a shock on an X-Max ever. Um, so this is the first and I've had several, um, bad landings, um, on the roof. That's why I have the indestructible body on this thing. So we're going to take a look at that. I got to secure this, uh, max six down again. I think I broke the fan on this. So I'm going to pop out this fan and see if there's something I can do. Might have to stick a game changer on it. I don't know if I have another fan. I'd rather just put a factory fan on this because this is a basher and I do send it. No sense breaking a bunch of game changer fans on this thing. But we'll take a look at this and see if I got something I can stick in here. Um, might have to order up a fan. So, first thing we got to do... one's also got something in it lower pin so this thing is collapsed down and fluids leaking out of the bottom now need the spring out of it because the wide max or wide X max kit requires a different spring rate god that poor shock So there you go. You can see how bent it is. Destroyed the bottom there from slant from me continuing to drive it, but it literally bent right in there. Basically, full extension caused it to bend, uh, which it should have been a full collapse because it was upside down when it landed and the wheel smashed it down. So somehow it bent out instead of going in which is weird so with all that said let's grab a shock these are my original shocks off this thing um, I didn't want to pull the covers off so I just rebuilt a newer set of shocks these shocks are five years old where the ones I put on were a little over a year almost two years old uh, but I pulled them off my Orange X Max almost immediately because I put orange ones on it just to color match that RC. You can see how the spring's been wearing on the inside. I have the covers on them so you don't really see it, but that pretty much tells you how old that shock is and how long it's lasted. See if I can blow that dirt out of there. It literally, down in that hole, was full of debris. 
Blue goes towards the top. So I will order up a shaft and some O-rings and stuff to get that shock repaired. Probably won't be doing it right away. I'm going to wait till I finish some of the testing on this Wide Max kit. Pins aren't bent or broken. Now it's sitting normal again. I'm falling behind on some of the repairs doing that techno build and trying to get that thing all worked out. And then my infraction. I actually had to do a lot of repairs off camera. There we go. So as you see, broke off a blade, um, 5 volt fan, I'm going to see if I have anything that will go in there, be right back. Alright, so I found this uh, Power Hobbies fan, seems to be about the same, it does have some funky brackets because it's made for the VLX, but I think I can do something with it and maybe clip it onto this thing somehow. It's actually made for um, the Max ESC. I'm not a big Power Hobbies fan when it comes to fans, but God, it looks like it clips out, but it's definitely a, a smaller fan. bolt patterns not even close so that is not gonna work all right a 3475 which is a Traxxas fan does have a different plug but the bolt pattern looks the same now these are the true max uh, fans and you can see the power hobby replacement the fan is really small. They give you a clip-on housing, but they put a smaller fan in there. So that's a way they can, I guess, cheat it, give you a smaller fan, make it spin up faster, and then it sounds like a more powerful fan, I guess. But this part number, cooling fan for Traxxas Valenium, 3S ESC in black from Power Hobbies is this one. This is the true part number for the fan replacement. And I know that the fan's supposed to be the same size as the Max 6, which as you see, it is. So, I'm going to cut off this connection. I'm going to solder it onto that one. 
And then we're going to get a Traxxas fan put in there. All right. So we're going to do a little soldering. Got to cut this off. Because that fan's no good. I'll cut this off. Leave enough so that I can use that end for something else. Radio or something. Just leave some little wires attached. Try to make them as straight as possible. Can't use a lot of shrink tubing. Picked up a new soldering station. No, it's not an RC Guy Garage soldering station. I couldn't afford the $500. So, I spent uh, 250 and bought this one. This one came straight out of the Yosemite Forest. And now I got my own homemade soldering station with termite holes and everything. Hopefully the termites left. Usually third three is the charm. Did I bring out? So I use these adapters and I steal one end from them. it in the middle so I can use this end for the other side tune up these wires
sponge over there. Since I had to turn on the soldering gun, I figure I'd get all the soldering done. Alright. So, batteries repaired. And uh, we're going to get our fan in. We'll be right back. Alright. Let's see if we can get our fan in there. Alright, so I looked at the other Mac 6 and this side went up on that. So we're going to do the same with this, but I did notice my other X Max. Guess what? That one's broken as well. Hopefully that is the right way. I'm going to plug in some batteries and figure out if that's the right way. Nope. Yep, fan is working, and these fans are sounding horrible too. go hopefully I don't have any broken fans on this one there we go now I'm gonna throw a zip tie across there and this one's ready to rip again now I will have to order another fan because I noticed my other Mac 6 the fan is broken as well which sucks because I don't think I have any more of these fans and that's why I bought the power hobbies fan thinking that it would be okay just for a little plug-in fan but I was way wrong and that's why I like game changer and that's why I think game changer fans are um, a good deal even though they're expensive um, a lot of work goes into them, and uh, he doesn't he doesn't short us on what we need to run. There we go. So I'll contact. Uh, I think Game Changer now does have some that that plug in that we don't have to run an external. Uh, uh, power source, but I'm gonna call him and check if he does I'm gonna get some ordered up in that size But there we go like comment subscribe. I got some more wrenching to do today I got some batteries to charge up so I can get out and uh, Do some bashing with these things. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys on my next video